Jenny from fluffmama.com, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing how to needle sculpt eyes on a plush toy. Before getting started on your final piece, it's always a good idea to test on a scrap piece of your fabric. You may find that yarn is too difficult to pull through your fabric, or you may find that your fabric tears or runs easily if a needle with thick floss or yarn passes through it. I'm using organic cotton and hemp fleece and a medium weight organic cotton yarn. I typically don't have issues with these materials, but I've used knit fabrics in the past that develop giant holes while embroidering the eyes, so I recommend always testing your fabrics first. I'm going to needle sculpt the eyes in two steps. For the first step, I'll needle sculpt the eye indentations with thread, and for the second step, I'll embroider the eyes. It's possible to do this all in one step, but it requires some practice, so I'll be showing the two-step version today. Start by threading a long doll needle with thread and tying a knot at the end. I'm using multiple strands of thread to ensure the knot doesn't slip through the fabric when I pull it tight. Insert the doll needle into the head through the fold of one of the ears. Before pushing the needle all the way through, pull the ear back and the front and then the back to make sure the needle didn't come through the fabric on the other side. Pass the needle into the head and find your way to the eye marking. When you pull the thread through, you'll see that the knot is hidden in the ear. I'm going to take the needle point and go back through the eye hole, but not through the same hole. I'm going to go right next to it. I'm going to find the eye marking on the other side. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Before pulling it all the way through, I'm going to loop my thumb through. This will help me when sculpting the head. So I'm going to pull the fabric and I'm going to squeeze the head at the same time. So I want his eyes to be indented like this, so I'm going to squeeze it and then pull the thread. Then you want to hold that thread. Don't let the sculpting come loose in your hands. So you're going to keep it squeezed. Take your needle point and go back through the head, but not through the same hole. And I'm going to come back out this ear. You may find that your thread comes loose while you're trying to find the ear hole again. That's okay, you can pull it tight again in a minute. Entering is much easier than exiting. It might take you a few tries to find the hole in the ear. So I'm gonna make sure that the needle isn't showing on the back or the front. Looks like I'm clear. So now I'm going to pull the thread again to pull that eye tight again. And I'm going to squeeze and pull the needle out. I want to make sure the eyes are close to even. And then hold the thread tight and tie a knot. So I have one knot, I'm going to make a second knot to make sure it's secure. And then I'm going to pass the needle back into the head. And bury the thread tail. For the second step, I'm going to embroider the eyes. You'll need to thread your doll needle with either embroidery floss or yarn. Sometimes it's difficult to get the yarn or embroidery floss to pass through the eye of the needle, so I like to take a piece of tape, wrap it around the end of my yarn, and then take scissors and trim it down. So 
So take your yarn and tie a knot at the end. I'm going to start the same way as I did for the other one. I'm going to go in through the ear, come out through the eye, and then I'm going to embroider a knot, come through the other side, embroider another knot, and then go back out through the ear again. You can use either a French or a colonial knot to embroider the eyes. I provided a link in the video description to another tutorial that shows how to use those knots. So I'm going to take the needle, come in through the ear again, Make sure the needle's not showing on the back of the front. I'm going to come out where the eye is. If you have difficulty getting your needle to come through, you can use a pair of hemostat clamps. You'll want to use caution when doing this because it's easy to lose control of the needle when it finally pulls through. I'm going to use a colonial knot just because that's what I'm used to using. So I'm going to make a backward C. I actually need to lay him down for this. Take your needle point and go under the top of the C. Then wrap your thread around to make a figure eight. Then you're going to go back into the fabric, but don't go through the exact same hole. Hold your needle with your stitching hand and pull the thread taut with your non-stitching hand. Make sure it's good and tight. And then come out the other eye. You may have to use your hemostat clamps again. If any of the fibers of your fabric get stuck in the yarn or embroidery floss, you can just pull them out with a needle point. So on the other side, you're going to do the same thing again. Make a backward C. Take your needle point under the top of the C. Make a figure eight. And go back into the fabric. Pull the thread tight. And then I'm going to come out this ear hole. Sometimes if you have trouble finding the hole, it's easier to shift the fabric around than it is to move the needle. So I'm going to move the needle just a little bit, but I'm going to kind of push the fabric around. Now that you have your eyes embroidered, you can take your yarn and make a knot in the ear. And take your needle Go back into the head. See how the needle is showing right there? We can redo that. And that's all there is to needle sculpting eyes on a plush toy. You can find the pattern and tutorial for this elephant on my website. I provided a link in the description. If you 
enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and the subscribe button for my YouTube channel. You can find me and my fluffy friends at bluffmormon.com and on social media.